welcome to Geography Gem. Today I'm at a coniferous forest in the heart of Norfolk. Now you wouldn't normally find coniferous forests in Norfolk or in the southern part of the UK at all. Um, they're usually indigenous to places in the northern hemisphere in the far north of the latitude between 50 and 60 degrees north where it's much colder than here. And in fact the temperatures in coniferous forests normally range from about minus 20 degrees Celsius to about plus 20 at the highest in their summertime. You usually find coniferous forests in countries like Canada, Russia and Scandinavian countries like Norway, Sweden and Finland. Now much of the precipitation and rainfall uh, in coniferous forests will fall as snowfall and this is one of the reasons why some of the trees have the adaptations which they have. Now in Norfolk this forest has actually been planted by people so this coniferous forest is not a natural it's not indigenous to this area. So let's have a look at some of the adaptations which these tree have. So first of all they've got a really thick strong bark on the tree trunks and the reason for that is to protect the, the trees from the extreme cold temperatures. In addition, you might be able to see, and if you think about a Christmas tree as well, they're conical in shape. They have really flexible branches. This is so the snow can easily fall off the trees and not break the branches. In addition, these trees are evergreen. What that means is it means that they're green all year round. They don't lose, lose their leaves. And if you have a look, here are some of the needle leaves which are found on these trees. If they're evergreen, it means these trees can continue to photosynthesize and make use of the available sunlight all year round. Let's have another look at these needles. So these needles have several benefits for the tree. First of all, they're really thin. What that means is they don't offer much wind resistance. So in places like in coniferous forests, it can be very windy. And it means that these needles won't fall off the tree when it's very, very windy. In addition, they're thin and waxy. And what that means is it means they retain water. And in addition, it means that they conserve heat. These Needle leaves also contain various chemicals which make them distasteful for animals to eat, so they're less likely to be eaten. When these do fall off the onto the floor, which they don't very regularly, they normally fall onto the floor approximately every two to five years, what they do is they leach acid into the soil, which means that it's very difficult for other plants to grow around them, so there's less competition. A further adaptation of these coniferous trees is the way they protect their seeds. They have cones and the seeds are stored inside the cones which helps to protect them from the extreme cold temperatures. These trees have wide shallow roots to offer them stability so they can grow really tall so they can access as much sunlight as possible.